Well, hello and welcome. Sean Allison here. Thank you for joining me here on YouTube. So let's have a bit of a look at what is going on in the markets before we talk about some very exciting positions that we've just closed out and a couple of very exciting positions that we can get into right here and right now. So we look at our opening range, which is 92% accurate. We put the high and the low of the third Friday of the month, which was the Friday just gone, the 18th of March. So this helps us to determine bullishness and bearishness in the overall market. Now we do this on the third Friday of the month, monthly options expiry, and also on the first trading day of the month. So third Friday of the month, the 18th of March, the high was 4465 and the low was 4390. So if we're above 4465, and close above that on a daily chart and move higher. We're in bullish opening range mode. If we close below 4390 and move lower, we are in bearish opening range mode. Right now, the market is neutral and we're right up against the 200 day moving average, which is sitting right now at 4471. So we are neutral right now, but we will within the next day or two get a clear direction whether we are going to break above that significant 200 day moving average on the SPX on the daily chart and break into opening range range bullish mode or perhaps get below 4390 and enter into bearish mode we will see what the market gives us so that's what's going on there if we have a look at the overall market we look at the indexes we can see that all the major indexes now are above the 21 EMA only slightly but they are now above the 21 EMA so we'll keep an eye on that bit of a double uh, bottom pattern here on the NASDAQ that could be bullish now we've recaptured the 21 we'll see whether we start to move higher um, looking there at the Russell 2000 we've been sort of round range bound uh, for the last month or so um, and we'll see if we do get a break above that 210 level potentially a bull flag forming here on the Dow Jones transports and we have now broken above the 21 on the Dow Jones industrials as well gold had a nice rally has then now had a pullback we'll wait and see what happens there we narrow down from the indexes into the sectors and we can see pretty much the same thing where we have been moving down the markets have pulled back no doubt about that but now we're starting to see the in or the sectors in this case moving above their 21 EMAs we are seeing a very strong bullish uptrend here using the 21 EMA on the energy sector. That's certainly very bullish. That had a nice move up last night, as did oil and oil stocks. Um, but that's the only real clear trend that we have right now with our sectors. So that's uh, what's happening there in a nutshell. As far as economic news this week, Jerome Powell does speak on Wednesday in the morning before the market opens. Uh, new home sales, petroleum status report, durable goods, and PMI composite flash report will be there as well. So, uh, Powell, move to restrictive policy is, if needed, to fight inflation. Yes, inflation is a big problem. It is far higher than what they're telling us with the CPI, which they're saying is just below 8%. You look at the CPI, you times that by 2 to 3 then you're getting a more accurate reading of inflation. I mean, everything is up. Food is has risen the most in modern history. The, um, the housing market is uh, being fueled by the pandemic um, and the biggest move that we've seen in the last 20 years. Used car sales, for goodness sakes, are up 37% year over year. Everything is up. Um, Steel has tripled. Lumber is up uh, about 280%. Everything is up. You have to be able to make more than the inflation rate, which is called the hurdle rate, as a return on your money. You must be able to hedge against inflation and you must be able to generate consistent returns and have great risk management to get ahead in this rigged financial system that we find ourselves. Now, just quickly on Bitcoin, we can see that it is up around $1,200 today, up above 42000 now we are range bound on the daily chart and if we narrow down to the four hour chart we've been range bound for quite some time and this is coiling up energy it will release this energy at some point right no doubt about that my guess would be we're going to release to the upside and have a significant move to the upside but this coiling this range bound trading action that we're seeing right now price action will result in an explosive move my best educated guess is to the upside here so we will wait and see what happens there 
So that's what's going on there. Let's look at some of the positions that we've just closed out recently um, with positions that we have on. This one was on Digital Turbine, APPS. We had a 5.3% return in 53 days there, selling a cash secured put. The next one here was on Apple. We made a 2.7% return in 47 days, again, selling a cash secured put. This one was on MicroStrategy, just closed these out and the Friday just gone. Made a 7.7% return in 39 days, how good is that? This was on Madeira, where we made a 7.4% return in 39 days. Uh, this one was on Marathon Digital, where we made a 10.4% return in 39 days. And then lastly, we had a winning trade on Tesla, where we made a 4.2% return. So six winning trades just in the last couple of weeks with these um, positions that we've just closed out. Now, one position that we do have on right now is a synthetic position on MicroStrategy. So let's have a bit of a look at MicroStrategy. Now we have a look here at this chart. MSTR is the ticker or the symbol here. Right now it's trading at 436. Now this, the real value of this stock, I have a complex uh, way that I work out what the real value, intrinsic value of a stock is, the minimum value that that stock should be worth. It's sitting right now at about $560. So this is undervalued quite significantly right now. The fact that they own around 121, 122,000 Bitcoin, um, I think that if we do see that break in Bitcoin, this stock will do exceptionally well. So what we actually did here with this synthetic position, where we buy and sell an option at the same time, right? So this is what we did on the 21st of January. We bought the 370 call for the 20th of January, 2023 expiry, okay? And then we sold the 360 put for the same expiry, 20th of January, 2023, okay? Now, uh, this actually cost us $1,085 for every one contract that we bought of the call and sold of the put, right? So we buy the call and sell the put at the same time, costing us $1,085. We did this on the 21st of January, as you can see. Now I did a detailed video on this. This is all evidenced and recorded, not just something I'm making up. This is something that I recorded. It's got the date, the time, the whole thing laid out, why I chose to trade, how I set it up. I even set it up in my brokerage account so you could see it done, everything in detail. And we did this just under two months ago in on the 25th of January. Now, um, just under two months later, the stock price is now 436.48, as you just saw, and the value of that trade is now 7,700. So we have actually turned 1,085 into 7,700 in two months, a 710% return. So to say we are crushing it is an understatement, right? Fantastic trade, still like the trade, still staying in it. Um, but so far we're up 710% in two months. So we're doing extremely well there. Now, another position that you could look to consider right now is Marathon Digital. Now, Marathon Digital has a strong level of support here. We've got one, two, three touches here. So triple bottom here, broken above the 21 and the 50 day moving average. This stock has a real or intrinsic value of around $33. So it's undervalued as we speak. I believe by the end of 2023, so just over a year from now, or over a year from now, about a year and nine months, um, that this stock will be around $113. That's my target here on this stock. They grew their revenue 2,180% on a year over year basis. Not bad. The growth rate for the company is around 50% per annum. And I like the prospects of this company going forward. Consolidating here, strong level of support. And I think this is going to break to the upside. So what I'm doing is I'm setting up another synthetic position on Marathon Digital, right? My members are, have just got that trade. They're now putting it in their account. Very exciting. So that's a new position that we're getting into, right? Um, Clean Spark was another trade that uh, I'm considering as well. Uh, another Bitcoin mining stock, probably looking to um, set this up with some sort of a diagonal 
trade, which will do very nicely. Um, and that one is going to be an exciting trade as well, right? So a couple of new exciting positions that we're looking to get into there uh, based around Bitcoin and the fact that I believe it's going to break out of that consolidation pattern and move higher. Already up 710% in our micro strategy uh, synthetic position. And now we're looking to get into another synthetic position with Marathon Digital. That promises to be an exciting trade as well. So we have uh, a whole lot of positions that are expiring on the 14th of April. Uh, many of those are looking very good as well. So really, really exciting stuff and uh, very much looking forward to what the market gives us going forward. But at the moment, we are absolutely crushing into the market, doing extremely well. So there are a couple of positions that you could look at. CleanSpark, Marathon Digital, there are a couple there that we are looking at and and we are still in our micro strategy synthetic position, which is in profit by 710%. And I showed you those six trades that we just closed out for profit just now. So let's see what the market gives us this week with the opening range. Uh, there are a couple of positions we're getting into and I will talk to you all again next week. Thank you so much for listening. All the best and bye for now.